training is booked, requested and managed from the Training tab on the Employee Profile. In this video you will see how an employee can book and manage training. Here's Bobby Can in Sales. Bobby clicks My Profile and then Training. The training page is split into two distinct areas. At the top is training that he has requested. Then below this is a section showing centrally created upcoming training events which Bobby can book on if he wishes. Bobby needs to brush up on his time management and wants to request some training on this. He clicks Add New. He enters the training name in the title field, provides some optional detail regarding the training, selects the appropriate training type. In this case, it's free online training for which there is no charge. He selects a future date for when he wishes to complete this online training. Optionally, he could attach a document such as an invoice or a course description and enter a check in the checkbox if an attachment is required when completing this training. A note is visible at this point explaining that this training request will be sent to Bobby's manager Kathy Stewart for approval. He clicks Save. Bobby can now see a new tab awaiting approval. Meanwhile, Kathy receives a task on her dashboard to approve Bobby's request. Kathy can approve the training, decline it, view a change log, edit the training request, or delete the request. Kathy is happy with the request, so she clicks Approve. Back on his training page, Bobby can see that the training has now been approved. Viewing the change log shows that Kathy has indeed approved the training. When Bobby has been online and finished the training, he can click Complete to mark off the training as completed. Bobby can insert an optional description and add a document if required. In some cases, depending on the settings, this attachment may be essential in order to mark off the training as complete. Bobby clicks Complete. The training now moves to the Completed tab on his training page. Any scheduled training events appear on the lower part of the page. You can change the filters to view the events that are most relevant for you. Bobby is interested in financial compliance, so he wants to book on this Lunch and Learn event. To book on the event, he clicks I'm Going. The sales training event is already fully booked. Bobby does want to attend, but for now he will have to be added to the waiting list. He clicks Add Me to the Waiting List. Because of event settings, these requests need to be approved by a manager or another specified employee. Kathy Stewart, Bobby's manager, approves his attendance from her dashboard. Bobby receives an email confirmation of the event. If Bobby decides he cannot attend the Lunch and Learn event anymore, he can simply click Cancel and his attendance will be cancelled. All approval requests for training events, or those submitted by an employee, will appear as a task on the approver's dashboard. Administrators have the option to add training on behalf of other employees and send those employees a notification email. <laughs>